Hey guys, today we're going to do a 4L60 Corvette servo. I've uh, taken this apart and cleaned it up once. And one of the reasons is when I first started this video, this uh, lock ring was so corroded, the wire retainer, pardon me, inside the case, it wouldn't move and I couldn't get it out. So I figured instead of watching me struggle with that for five minutes, uh, we just start here. Now, there's a couple access points here for this, so just lift it up. I just lifted it up, and I'm just going to pull it out from that point, right? So that's the, the whole ring. Disassembly. There we go. Ring is out. Unfortunately, I put this together, and... Uh, after it's cleaned up and I put a new seal on, so we're gonna have to get rid of that. But I have another one. So let's get this out of here. I don't think uh, it's gonna let me pull it with a new seal. As a matter of fact, I know it probably won't. Nope. So what they do recommend you to do is get underneath the seal, it's a blue seal. Now, we might be able to get lucky and stretch it, probably not. But because it's new, I'm just going to cut it. Like I say, we have another one here. Alright, grab onto it, rip it out of there. All right, now this should all come out. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do now is we can just simply pull this out. Now this transmission's been sitting for a long time, so. All right. Now what we're gonna have to do, so let's put that back in there for now. That spring so we know where it is. So we're gonna need to disassemble this. What we're going to start, we're going to start by removing this E-clip here. Okay, so be careful when you take this off. You can push down on the spring. Gives you a little bit of room to get the clip out. And use a screwdriver, but make sure you have your finger on this, because it will fly across the room if you're not careful. So let's give it a shot here. I don't want it to fly across the room. There we go. We're able to keep it from going anywhere. That clip is out. All right. We'll take the washer off. And we have a spring behind it. Okay. All right, pick them up where we left off here. We'll take the servo pin out. It should just pull out. We'll clean that up in a second. We can separate these. All right. Because we don't really need this. This we don't require anymore. Throw it to the side. But we need to get in here. And what we need in here is the spring on the inside. So we're going to compress this. And we're going to remove the snap ring. There's a snap ring in here. All right, we'll use a pair of C-clamps for this. So I'll try and do this so people can see. By saying that, I mean I'll try and get my hands out of the way so people can see what's going on. Now, when you're compressing anything that's two metals, especially this, sorry, this steel into aluminum, we only want to move as far as we need to. We just want to expose the, the snap ring, okay? So we're able to get that out. Okay, so with that, I'll try and do this so you guys can see. It has a little, and I'm right on it too, it has a little cut out there on the edge of the ring. See if we can get that out there. All 
All right. There we go. So, it's a little late when we get this out of here. I like to do it just on a camera without blocking everybody's view. I find it a little more difficult, but anyway, here we have it. Uh, voila, one ring. Okay. So, like I say, we need to retrieve the spring that's inside here. I believe they called it cushion spring. I don't know, it's my first uh, transmission for all 60 work I've ever done. Never done a Corvette servo before. So, if you're new to this, so am I. All right, that's the part. And that's what we needed. So, let's move this to the side. And we'll clean everything up here real quick. And get ready for reassembly. I just want to make sure we have everything clean before we reassemble. Okay, we're all cleaned up. So, what this kit came with, here it is here. This is the part number. I bought it off of eBay. Okay, and it just says it's a Corvette servo kit. When I ordered it, it came with this piece, as well as the red uh, O-ring. I've already installed that. Came with the uh, blue O-ring, which goes on the cover. We'll deal with that after. Okay, and it came with the second piston, as well as the black O-ring right here that we've already installed. And this one right here, oh, sorry, and this one right here. And what these are is, this is a Teflon ring, and it's a split ring. Let me find the split for you. See right, and this is more of a ceiling ring, I suppose. Anyway, right there. So, what you want to do with these before you install them, I can't believe I'm taking this back off, is just shrink them a little bit. Go all the way around. Shrink them a little bit. Don't be too hard on it. Okay. Then fire it on there. You want it to fit relatively snug. And we'll put a little bit of uh, transmission fluid on it when we put it back together. But right now, what we'll do is we'll put the spring back in. Okay. We'll put the cover back on. All right, so let's get that clamp back on there. Same process as before. No change. Again, we only want to compress it far enough to be able to install our, uh, our snap ring there. Okay. So not too much pressure. Okay, that's good. I can see all the way around. Give this ring one more wipe. And we'll stir it in there. in it's seated we'll let the pressure off okay make sure we have no scarring or damages
Everything looks good. Does the pins still fit? Yep. All right, we're good to move forward. Let's oil up this ring here. Silly ring. Put a little bit of ETF on there. And we'll install this piston housing. Actually. We want to be careful not to tear this. That's the biggest concern we're going to have. So we'll uh, gently install this. Okay. Perfect. Well, that went together relatively easy. Okay. Got a little piece of something there. All right. Let's get some, this is also, like I say, the ceiling ring. We'll put a little bit of oil on that. Should be putting a lot of oil on it. Don't skip on the oil here, guys. We don't want to hurt anything putting it together. Take this spring, we'll put it back there, where it used to sit. Yeah, wrong way. The pin, let's do this. Okay, let's put the lock ring back on, the, on there. We'll put, install the spring, we'll install the washer. We'll push down and we'll uh, install said lock e clip. All right, we're installed into the groove there, we're good to go. This is all oiled up. There's springs in on the inside there. So let's gently... Let's put a little more oil on here. We just want to be careful. All right, everything feels good. We're gonna do a quick trial fit. We have our fourth piston here, we have our cover. Where would it, it would sit if it was compressed? It would sit right about there. We got some adequate clearance. We're good to go. We can actually install this blue seal. We'll put some oil on it. We'll put some oil in here. We install the fourth piston in here. Okay. We'll try not to get everything too oily. It's going to be a little bit tighter now with the O-ring in there. Oops.
I think a lot of people use a bar at this point or have a couple struggles. Just work it in a little bit as far as you can. You're just going to, uh, we just need to get the O-ring past a certain point here. And I'm trying to push evenly, but sometimes that's, there we go. A little bit harder said than done, but I'll try to put this on first. I'm going to install this like this. That way, if I have to service this, I can just pry up here and collect the end of it easily. Seems easier. Again, we'll push in. That didn't go well at all. We'll do it up here then. It's funny how sometimes the easiest parts of these videos are the worst parts. Maybe if we do it that way, we can lock the ring in place right away. There we go. Okay, make sure we go that in there. You bet, there we go. That took a little bit of work. Overall, putting a Corvette servo in is a pretty easy job. I was gonna uh, install a transmill shift kit as well, but because I don't know anything about the transmission at this point, I'm not gonna do that. We're just going to leave it as is, put it in the vehicle. If it works really well, I'll pull the valve body out and do the shift kit. If it needs a rebuild, we'll utilize the shift kit during the rebuild. I hope this helped. It was kind of real time. I've never done one before. I looked at a couple of things in the past. There's some people on the internet that do some of this stuff. I've seen uh, a couple different videos. I just wanted to do it kind of in live real time with all the parts laid in front of you. So if you got confused, you'll be able to refer back as well. I have a sheet here from Transco. And it just shows the order of uh, the pieces you need. Don't worry about these gold bands. They don't apply to the servo if you don't have a, if you're not installing the shift kit. And the blue cushion spring also does not apply if you're not installing the HD kit, reprogramming kit, shift kit, whatever you want to call it. So take those out, take that blue spring out, 
And that's the order of the stuff you have there. I hope this helps. Leave uh, any comments you like. If you have any questions or you want to see something in particular, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.